Hello everyone and welcome to Fun with Fitzy. Today we are focusing on how accountants use income statements. This is 8.2 in the textbook. By the way, I want you to open up this worksheet. It looks like this and you can get it off of um, Angel. It should be there with you. We're going to work on it for the next two videos, this one and the next one. So today's video will go up to this common size income statement part and the balance sheet part will then start for the second video. So comparing income statements when comparing income statements for two consecutive years, that's one year right after the other, accountants often make the following two calculations for each statement. Here, you're often looking at to see if there's an increase in expenses or an increase in sales. As an accountant, you need to advise your managers and your owner uh, how they can improve in the operation. So the first one is the dollar amount of the increase or decrease from the first year to the second. So this would be how much in dollars did our sales go up or how much in dollars did our expenses go up. And the next one is what is the percent amount of the increase or decrease of those items we just talked about. Let's look at that more clearly. So here's an example here for a car expense. This is one line on your income statement. In the first year, the car expense was 50250 In the second year, we noticed it went up to 59360 So we know this went up. How much did it go up? This is a dollar increase, the first one. Well, if you subtract the two, it went up 9110 How do we calculate if that's a per what the percent change is? Well, we're going to take the, the change over the first year. Okay, so the, this number here is the percent change over the first year multiplied by 100, and that's going to give us an 18% increase. So our car expense went up 18% this year. So as an accountant, you would probably be wondering, why did it go up so much? Did our sales go up as much so that it would justify the cost? Or did our sales go down and our car expense went up? If that's the case, we probably should look deeper into it. Okay, next let's look at the trend analysis. A trend analysis shows financial data over a number of consecutive periods, so not just from one year to the next, but over several years. It is not easy to interpret a trend just by looking at the numbers, so of course we need to calculate it into a percent. So calculating a percent change compared to a base year, which would be the first year, adds meaning to the numbers. And of course, graphing the data can always provide a better perspective of the trend over time. So let's look at some numbers, and you can do this on your worksheet as well. So again, here is a company. This is one line on your income statement from year to year. So sales, right here. In year one, our sales were 55,000. In year two, there were 60, 75, 45, 105, 112. You don't have all of this, you just have a few years on yours. We're going to compare all of these years to the first year. In the first year, we're going to just say this is 100%. So what we're saying in year two is in year two, we had 109.1% of the sales we had in year one. In year three, we're saying we had 136% of the sales we had in year one. How do we calculate that? Well, we're going to take year two divided by year one times by a hundred for year two. Year three, we're going to take 75,000 and divide it by year one. So everything is divided by year one, you'll see here, times by a hundred and so on. This is going to be 45,000 divided by year one and so on. And if we graph the percent change, well, we're going to see that it goes up like this. So in year one, and this is in dollars, 55,000, 60, 75, and then you can see that in year four we only had 81% of the sales that we had in year one, so that's why it's lower. Okay, next let's look at something called common size income statements. This is when you compare two companies to each other. To make two companies look the same, we need to convert each dollar amount to a percentage. And we're going to use the sales figure here as our base number. OK, 
Okay, showing these percentages beside the actual dollar amount puts the income statement in common size form. So when I say make a common size income statement, this is what you're gonna see. Okay, so here's two companies, company A right here and company B. And here's the dollar amounts. And then when we converted it to percentages, uh, you can see here how we did it. We're gonna use the sales amount as our base, okay? So that's going to be 100% no matter what. And then to get this, we're going to divide our 14,000 here, divided by 130. So 14,000 divided by 130,000 times 100 will equal this number. And we'll do the same for every single one. And that way you can look at it and decide, all right, Comparing these two companies, you might automatically assume that company B is better because their sales were higher. But really, if you're going to do it like that, you would see here that company A is actually better because their net income is higher. You would have assumed the same thing for company B because their net income is higher, but their net income as a percentage of sales is lower. That means their expenses are higher relative to their sales than company A's. Okay, so for now you should be able to do compare income statements for within one company by doing a trend analysis and then you should be able to convert income statements to common size so you can compare two companies.